Now, as you probably heard today, I broke the story on the front page of The Australian today that former Queensland Premier Campbell Newman has quit the LNP, turned his back on the coalition. Now, just to put this into perspective, not only was he a one-term Queensland Premier for the Liberal National Party, he was a two-term Lord Mayor of Brisbane for the Liberals before the merger. Further, Campbell Newman's father was a Liberal minister in the Fraser government. His mother was a Liberal minister in the Howard government. So he is as blue-blood Liberal as you get. And he joins me from Brisbane now. With that ba background, Cam Campbell, how can you possibly turn your back on the coalition parties, on the Liberal National Party? Gee, Chris, it's, it is a big decision and, and a huge wrench. And I firstly just say, look, I, I, I in, in, in some ways, feel um, that, uh, that I'm letting down people who have supported me in campaigns over the years, who supported my mum and dad, men and women who worked at Rain, Hail or Shine. But I say to them, you know, this has been a long time coming. I've reached the end of the road with the Liberal Party and the LNP in Queensland because they're not standing up for the values of the party. They're not actually standing up for what I consider to be fundamental Australian values. And when you get to that point, to continue any longer would be, would be false. I just can't keep going uh, in the party. Uh, and I want to see change. I want to see real leadership in Australia. And that's why I'm considering running for the Senate as well. We'll come back to that in a moment. But um, you've been very critical of the way uh, the coalition parties have managed the pandemic. You're critical of state border closures, of extended lockdowns, of the fiscal, uh, the debt that's being piled up. Now, I agree these are big issues worthy of debate. But hasn't this country handled the pandemic probably as well as any country on the planet? It's great to be an island, Chris, and that gives you huge advantages in terms of how to seal things off. I actually take a contrarian view um, to many commentators that I think it's been badly handled. We have dragged our feet. Uh, the problem, for example, in New South Wales right now is due to a problem in the processes and systems of quarantine. And similarly, we saw that in Victoria. Um, you know, we need a plan here, Chris. And the Prime Minister should give us that plan. And the plan should be something like this. It should be, um, by date X, late this year, we will have vaccine available for anybody who wants it. We'll give everyone the opportunity to have that free vaccine and their, their top-up shots. And from that date, we're going to open up. We're going to open up the borders. We're going to have no more lockdowns. We're going to get back to normal. No QR codes, because everybody has a level of protection that they've selected. If you get sick, well, there are health consequences potentially. But we have to go forward because what's been going on, Chris, is we are seeing enormous collateral damage. Children whose schooling at very young ages... You know, imagine being an eight- or nine-year-old, having a year and a half of your schooling totally disrupted. The mental health problems, particularly for people who have been locked up, those that have been had their business and livelihood smashed... These are so big I issues and we talk thing. about them this on this program a lot. Shouldn't you be having this argument inside yeah. the LNP, inside the coalition, to try and push change? Well, I, I didn't really want to get into this, but just a very quick snapshot. I'd say to those loyal men and women of the Liberal Party and the LNP, I tried. I was happy to accept a nomination to the executive of the party by our former president. Uh, sadly, every MP in the room at federal and state level uh, were against me being there. And after, I, after that happened, I thought, well, what's the point? These guys aren't going to listen. Um, they probably feel I'm a threat to them because I will challenge them. and I'll challenge their, uh, the way they failed in so many ways. Uh, and so, so really I had no other choice to do what I'm doing. But can I just go back to values? This is what... Th these are my values. These are the values of my parents. It's about free speech, uh, freedom and liberty, support for small business support for resilience and self-sufficiency. Um, my mother was a social security uh, minister. She talked that she wanted a safety net and not a hammock. Um, you know, we should be supporting small business far more strongly. There are many things we could do to make this the entrepreneurial nation of the world if we wanted to. Uh, now you we are, are, you are going in to this be... thing where it's big business, big government and big deficit.
Yeah, we do have a lot of those three things. I would have to agree with you on that. Now, you've got to be a threat to the LNP now because, as you said, you're going to run for the Senate. You'd have a very good chance of getting a Senate seat with your profile and on those issues in Queensland. Will you be running under the banner of the Liberal Democrats? Chris, firstly, I haven't actually made a decision and I really want to give this uh, a bit of time and get feedback from people. I've had many loyal supporters from the LNP and the Liberal Party nationally, office bearers, serving politicians who've contacted me today and they're encouraging me greatly. But I need to decide whether I'm going to do it as an independent or if I do it with, some, with a party. And, yes, I'm having conversations with a number of different parties and I'll listen to what they have to say. But you know what? If I'm going to do this as well with a party... I really want the members of that party to be happy with me. This isn't some smart Alec Campbell Newman walking in to save them. This is them deciding that my values are in accordance with theirs and that they do want to get behind me. I want to help uh, be part of a team if I'm doing this to actually get real change uh, in Australia. And, and that's why I'm doing it. Oh, All by right. the way, the LNP, one LNP uh, commentator today is, well, one comment was put to me, they're, they're free, they're, they're glad to be free of me, the, they're unshackled from the, the, I suppose, the albatross. Well, my response is, well, I so, I so, because uh, they, they need to do a better job, particularly here in Queensland.